My name is Lance with Brando Consulting, fishbowl expert since 2006. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move inventory using a barcode scanner and Fishbowl Go. So let's go there. I've got Fishbowl Go up on the screen. I'm on the Move screen right here, and you'll notice the cursor is in the location field. So that's the first thing I'm going to scan is the location that I'm moving it from. Then I'm going to scan the part that I'm moving, enter in the quantity that I'm moving, enter in the lot number that I'm moving, and finally enter the location that I'm going to put it in. Finally, once I've got all this information in there, I'll click move. And it's that simple. Scan the location, scan the part, put in the quantity, the lot number, and scan the destination location. Now let's look at some things that can go wrong. This time I'm going to scan a location and I'm going to scan the part, put in the quantity that I want to move, the lot number that I want to move, and the destination location I want to put it at. Then click Move. I get this error message here. The tracking lot number 123 was not found in location da 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 or is committed to another order. So the problem here is the quantity I'm trying to move from, the part I'm trying to move from, and the location I'm trying to move from is wrong. So let's drill down and see where it's wrong. So I'm trying to move from middle field 5J15. If I go to 5J15, b excuse me, 5J1B, and search for parts in there, you'll notice that there are no parts in 5J1B. The part number that I was trying to move only exists in these locations right here. Okay, so I can't move a part from a location that it does not exist in. Fishbowl needs to recognize that it's in there. That's a great control feature. If it's not there, and you don't want to go back to your desk, another thing you can do is go to the part number. I'm going to go out of this screen, back to part, scroll down here, back to part, and then scan the part number and say, well, if it's not in that location, where is it? We'll scan the part number and Fishbowl will tell us where it is. It's in this location, this location, this location, etc. So if it starts out in the wrong location, then you can actually use this feature to correct the location it's in and move it from the location that it actually is not in into the location that it is in. Make sense? <laughs> Hopefully. So the part number has to exist, the lot number has to exist. Let's look at another common problem I, I've seen, the last one, and that is your username has to have rights to the location group that you're trying to scan in. Okay, notice each location begins with the name of your warehouse. If you have multiple warehouses, make sure your user has rights to the warehouse they're scanning in. Thanks for joining us today at this Simple Steps tutorial with Brando Consulting. Just moving with the barcode scanner and Fishbowl Go.